Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Stan 11 show, Bournemouth versus Everton, a uh, return to football after a, a few beautiful, beautiful weeks without, without, uh, yeah, without having to endure things, but we are back, we are in the last part of the season, big push now to get over the line and um, yeah, put this terrible, terrible season behind us. For so many different reasons, but yeah, this is where it starts. Bournemouth on Saturday, and uh, yeah, it's time to pick up three points, isn't it? It's time to get back to winning ways. It's been so so long, and um, yeah, it would be nice to do it on Saturday. Let's get into it. Jordan Pickford in goal. A uh, bit of a bit of a mistake on tuesday for england it was his first mistake that led to his goal a goal in 60 games for england so that's not a terrible record but of course a lot of people jumped on that as they do um yeah just keep be consistent like he has been for everton and hope it's enough a clean sheet will be fantastic um hopefully we'll get one of them into uh defense right back I'm going to go with Seamus Coleman. He's just played a couple of games for Ireland. He was uh, man of the match the other night against Switzerland and he he done exceptionally well in both games. And I think he's proved his fitness and it's time to get him back into the side. Um, he's hugely important and we'll need that leadership and we'll need that ability to defend and get forward. And he's such an important player that for me, I think now that he's proved that he's fit, that he has to go back into the side and it might just be for the one game with with Newcastle being so close but um, for me he has to start and then he has to start next week against Burnley certainly now Tuesday who knows who knows physically whether he can do three games in a week but uh, for me he has to start because he's just it's what we've been missing the manager obviously doesn't fancy Nathan Patterson and out of the two of them, I think, I think you know, obviously the skill sets are similar for when Seamus when he was a younger player, but I think now with that maturity, he knows how to defend. He's he still he still can get forward well, but he's such a good defender as well. He knows how to handle fast, uh, tricky widemen. So for me, he has to start. Uh, at left back for Tali Michalenko, obviously off the back of Ukraine qualifying for the Euros, he'll be on a he'll have a uh, he'll be on a big high, and also he's just he's just he's just played a game as well, competitive game, which is really important as well. A couple of competitive games, so he'll be back straight into the swing of things, no issues there, um, and he starts at left back. Two centre backs, obviously James Tarkowski and Jared Branthwaite. Jared Branthwaite obviously went away with the. England team never got onto the pitch, which I found a little bit strange. But you know that's just the way it is. He's gone away and he's trained. He'll have trained hard um, while he was with England. But sad that he didn't get that little reward of a of a first cap. But you know he'll have to continue what he's doing and, and earn that first cap. Whether it'll come this season, I'm not sure. With it being so close to the Euros now, but we'll wait and see. And he's just got to keep on, keep on keeping that level uh, and improving if he can do it. In these games as well, and they're going to be huge games. And obviously, James Tarkowski next, and will has all that experience, and um, probably will have enjoyed the break as well. Um, so that's my back four into midfield. I am going to go with Amadou Onana in the number six role because, uh, well, not because, but he's just again showed this week for Belgium how good a player he is. Uh, keeps it nice and tidy. One to touch, two touch, uh, great defensive tackler, and has to play for me. Has to play for Everton. He's a fantastic player. I think he's got got the ability to be a fantastic player for Everton, and we have to start. And for me, he's he's one of those players who has to be first on the team sheet every week, and you're almost building the team around him. It hasn't necessarily been the case. Um, all season, but he has to start the game, and alongside him, I'm starting to just a Ghana gay. I just think that Ghana, oh Nana, sorry, and James Garner are just occupy too many similar positions on the pitch, and I think, I think 
a Jason Garner game will go hunting for the ball and also carry the ball at times as well. Um, so that's why he starts. And again, it's that experience factor for me with the Jason Garner game. He's been there, seen it, done it. Um, I just think when when Garner plays, if you look at his, if you look at like heat maps and stuff, he just he's in too many similar positions to Onani, and it doesn't it doesn't get us up the pitch high enough, and we have to be a little bit brave and a little bit bold. And I'm not saying that this Garner guy is more of a attacking player, but he will carry the ball and he will try and slip players in, um, and he will go hunting higher up the pitch to win the ball back as well. So those two star for me ahead of them. Abdelai Decore, and I just think now is the time Decore has to hit the ground running. He was obviously out for uh, a couple of months by one game against Villa. Came back, hasn't really got up to the pace of it. Now he, now he's been out for, obviously we've, we've had a few weeks out. Hopefully, if there was any lingering injury, doubts about him, they've all gone now. And this is now the time he's got to start performing and start adding goals. He's still our top goal scorer, which is embarrassing, I think, for some of those other players in the team that a player who scored his last goal against Newcastle United in December is still our uh, top goal scorer. I, f- I find that I find that highly embarrassing for other players in the team um, that they haven't managed to get up to that level yet. So let's hope he starts chipping in because he that's the difference I think between winning and. Not winning has been Decore not scoring goals or not being inside to score the goals. So, yeah, just get back at it. Get back at it. Uh, obviously, scored a huge goal against Bournemouth at the end of last season. So, let's hope he returns to um, putting the ball in the back of the net. Right midfield, Jack Harrison. Um, not there aren't any options, are there really? There just aren't any options other than changing the formation. So I think Jack Harrison will start, hopefully him and Dwight McNeil, who will start on the left, as the manager confirmed there's no Dan Juma yet. Um, both of these two players hopefully will have, you know, got a good rest, got the uh, the tanks restocked and are ready to go for the last, the last part of the season because both of them have looked out on their feet at times and have just reverted to being quite negative in the way they've played and have not added loads and have not really uh, looked like adding anything after the, the, into the last half an hour of games so hugely important that these two are adding goals and assists as well in the last in the last uh, quarter of the season and it's uh, yeah hopefully they find their feet and find some form because that just in the last part of the season that just wasn't there since since you know since the uh the, the the four games that we won both of these have looked not quite on it and have looked really tired of late and they need to have hopefully they've had a really good rest and will benefit from that um so yeah and up front um i'm going to continue with beto i just think that you know he scored against west ham okay he didn't have a great game against manchester united but again i'm not digging him out for that i don't think Either him or Dominic Carvalho Loon have had much to work with playing on their own up front this season. And I just think that Dom had a lot of games to prove himself and score goals and he didn't. And I think now's the opportunity for Beto to get to get some to get some games under his belt uh, and improve and hopefully hopefully he um, he can start scoring goals and him and Dom are going to be massively important in the running and it might be a case that Beto might start this game and Dom might start on Tuesday and when they're, they're slightly different games when we might need a slightly different skill set um, against Bournemouth hopefully if Beto does start it means it encourages to play a little bit more football uh, and not just going long all the time which seems to be the case when Dom plays which is not his fault it really isn't his fault but that's the way the team seems to play. So I'm going to go with Beto for this one. But let me know your thoughts in the comments anyway. Let me know who you'd start for this game. Uh, what changes you'd make for the lineup? Would you change the formation? Would you go to three at the back? Let me know your thoughts. What what can get us, us scoring goals that will get us winning games? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, daily exclusives, and no adverts. 
on any of the videos or the podcast join us over on toffee tv premiere the link is in the description and the qr code is coming up on the screen now see you later